India, land of mystery, is the seventh largest landmass and second most populated nation in the world. It is rich in resources and manpower, yet its people are among the poorest and most suffering on earth. Millions of Indians suffer from malnutrition, disease, and poverty. The people are apathetic because their religion has taught them to be detached observers, disregarding the agonizing lifestyle which imprisons them. V.S. Naipul, himself an Indian, describes India as a wounded civilization paralyzed by her religious beliefs. This complex and contradictory religion known as Hinduism promotes the worship of enlightened godmen called gurus. And countless idols. It deifies both nature and femaleness and believes mother goddess to be the original deity. She is worshipped in many forms, as Mother India venerated in the shape of her map, as Mother Earth reverenced in the cow whose urine is even seen as sacred, in Goddess Kali, the goddess of death and destruction, who demands to be pacified with blood sacrifices, and in Holy Mother Ganges, the largest river in India. This river is worshipped by millions who flock to her banks to perform daily toiletries and annually dump hundreds of thousands of dead bodies to assure them of a better reincarnation. Its pollution does not dampen the spiritual fervor of the people who believe its waters to be essential for all religious ceremonies and imbued with magical and healing powers. Incredibly, the West is today looking to Hinduism's superstitions for hope. The religion that has all but destroyed India has now infiltrated every area of Western society. Protesting that it is not religious but scientific, it is transforming our minds, science, medicine, mass media, politics, and the church. Hinduism is most seductive when it wears the mask of Christian terminology and has shockingly managed to disguise itself as the latest Christian thought. Hundreds of thousands of Western pilgrims have journeyed to India seeking enlightenment and have disappeared by the hundreds. Too often they are destroyed by the madness and perversion of the very gurus they have worshipped and looked to for salvation. Today, hundreds of these professing godmen are invading the West. Is there any need for alarm? Or should we continue to welcome these gods of the new age. <laughs> 